with reading from the scripture and prayer. Yes, we were mischievous. Yes, we would pull the girls' pigtails. Yes, we would make spitballs and throw them. Yes, we did a whole lot of little mischievous things. We were conscious of God even in the school. That what was preached and taught in the church was reinforced in the home and was also reinforced at school. But somewhere along the line, somebody got the bright idea that freedom of religion also meant freedom from religion. And before we knew it, prayer and Bible reading was taken out of our school. And when prayer and Bible reading were taken out, that's when the knives and the guns and dope went in. And, and, and now it has become so crucial in our country that we seem to be programmed for disaster. Yeah, I've looked at many of those movies where, you know, someone locked in the uh, missile, a gutted missile with a nuclear warhead and was not able to retrieve it. It's as though we have come up with a program in our nation now. We're programmed for disaster because what was happening, it started in the African-American community. The drive-by shootings, the young people out of control. And we don't know what to expect next. Dope, murders, one thing after another. But the latter part of last year, it jumped into the white community. And now you're seeing across this nation in the white community, you're seeing young teenagers and pre-teenagers with automatic weapons and shooting down their parents and, and, and their fellow students and teachers. It's as though the devil is saying that I've got demons that will mess up the minds of young blacks and young whites. And he's turning our nation into a genocidal society. And while all of these guns are blazing across America, I looked on television and heard Mr. Charleston Heston as he takes over as the head of the National Rifle Association, yet arguing for the right to bear arms. We ought to learn something from England. Even the police don't carry guns, except for a few chosen officers, but they do not have, even in a year, the murder rate that we have every day in the United States of America. Until we can go back to putting God first. When I was a youngster coming up, not only was the Bible the book for the church and the Bible was the book for school, it was the book for home. And it said that you were to raise them up. And it also said that you were to put something on their backside. And when I came up, I didn't like the feel of that machine band cord that my mama would lay on me every once in a while. But I didn't turn out too bad. Now, they are telling the parents, you're responsible for the actions of your children. If your children uh, get into a drug situation and if your child commit a crime, you're responsible. And at the same time, tying the arms of the parents